for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Death row. They were wounded in battle or injured while serving. Some were hurt half a world away. Tonight, they had a chance to put it all behind them, feel the wind in their hair and the snow beneath their feet. Come for Zinzi Cohen takes us for a run with a battalion of wounded warriors. Jeff, I think this was the one I had last time. For some folks, just walking is no easy task. For Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Dudek, it was an uh, IED. It was impossible. An IED blew up on the side of the striker, killed the kid next to me, and and hit me in the back. And it's, I'm a spinal cord injury after that. Among the wounded, the man with the size can fever, and the injured. Lawrence, is this your first time? It was a day to float among the clouds. Yeah, being front of X, I can kind of fall on it. Two dozen soldiers hurt while serving their country, skiing for free with the help of volunteers at Snoqualmie, part of the first ever multi-week program here for wounded warriors. A once avid skier. Let me get out of it again. Now paralyzed from the knees down. Ugh. Dudek is learning to ski again. It's really good. On one ski instead of two. <laughs> Bottom line, like any soldier, I'm a competitor. I like to win. And so I don't want to be the handicapped kid everybody has to wait for. On the slopes today, the only handicap would be telling yourself you can't do it, which this soldier won't allow himself to do. So if we can give them that opportunity just to be out and about, it's, if they can do this, they can do anything, and, and we're very pleased to make that happen. Doing anything and learning to do it all. One run at a time. You can see people who weren't smiling before smile all the time, and you can't stop them now. The two dozen or so soldiers will finish this program in three weeks. A second program kicks off next month at Stevens Pass. At Snoqualmie Ski Area, Lindsay Cohen, Como, for News.